Good morning guys. I have to start my food log today. So I am having two servings of this. This or Cascadian Farm organic, organic Cinnamon Crunch. So let's see. One serving is 150 with milk. So 300 calories for breakfast. No Duchess, get out. Obviously it's high in carbs because it's cereal. And then there's eight grams of sugar in one, which means I'm having 16 grams of sugar, so that's probably really bad. There's no protein and it's high in carbs. So this is what I eat for breakfast. There's the first thing that the nutritionist is gonna tell me to stop eating. So the first ingredient is whole grain wheat, which when I learned about paleo, whole grain wheat is really not good for you. The second ingredient is sugar. So this is clearly really bad for me. If you are wondering why whole wheat and whole grain is not necessarily good for you, it might be a little bit good for some weight loss, but if you're wondering like why I am saying that and you're really into fitness and health, whatever, read read about paleo, the paleo solution. Um, if I could do paleo every day, I would. It's really the only fitness plan or it's like a way of life that I would that I actually really agree with that I would do if I had the willpower to do. So if you're wondering about it, just look it up, whole grains, whole wheat, paleo. You could even put that in Google and it will probably tell you why. Now I'm making myself a lemon water because I need to drink more. I'm not doing smart water because there's added electrolytes in smart water and I was drinking a lot. Like I was trying to drink like three or four of those big smart waters a day and it started making my, I don't know, but I was just feeling really weird when I drank and I guess I was feeling kind of lightheaded and dizzy. Um, and so I'm just going back, like we have a water softener here at the house. There's no reason just not to drink um, the water we have here. So I just am going back to drinking water out of my Yeti cups with lemon in them because lemon helps me drink more and the Yeti keeps it cold so that helps me drink more as well. I'm going to try to drink five of these today. I'm re-downloading one of my favorite books right now to listen to while I'm cleaning the house. I know, I just want to download it, why won't you let me? I'm going to listen to it on my, this is like my favorite speaker ever while I'm cleaning up the house and I haven't listened to this book in a long time. I have been folding towels. And now I'm about to fold some more laundry. And these are our new couches. They're, we have comforters on them so that the dog and cat don't completely destroy them. And we're gonna put like an end table here, but right now, Nick just, I don't know why he put this down here, but it's just, um, it's an ottoman. It's a really old ottoman from Target. Um, just to set drinks on right now, but we're gonna get like some sort of table to put here. Cause that does not look right here. I'm not sure why Nick thought that would be a good call. Hi, Dutchie. Anyway, I'm about to have a spoonful of peanut butter because I'm starting to feel a little bit nauseous and I think this might make me feel a little bit better. Um, it's just the organic snow stir crunchy and it's got 200 calories and two tablespoons. This one has um, some organic cane sugar added but when you look at the grams, it's only two grams. Since I was talking about paleo earlier and I just ate peanut butter, I wanted to go ahead and say that paleo does say that peanuts are probably not the best nut for you. They're okay, but they are, they're, they are really high inflammatory. So a lot of people who are sick or have disease or things like that, they're not supposed to eat a lot of peanuts or peanut butter. You may have heard that, but it would probably, it would be better for me to get like an almond butter or cashew butter, something like that. But Nick loves to have PB&J, so we always have peanut butter in the house. And um, I don't eat it a lot, but a little bit of it I feel like should be okay. So I have everything packed for the hospital in my bag, minus one thing that I'm waiting to come in. So I'll be doing my what's in my bag video for you guys as soon as that comes in. Skyla's bag is ready, so I'm bringing two bags. And I know this is a lot, but um, I'm a first time mom, so just let me do it. This is Skyla's um, bag, the stuff that I'm bringing for her for the hospital, and then this is my stuff. So I'm gonna be doing two separate videos, because if I do them at the same time, I feel like it'll be a lot. 
Like usual, there's no food here at the house, so I'm going to go and get some salada for lunch, and then I'm going to go to Randall's on the way home and pick up something healthy to cook for dinner tonight so that we're not, like, at a loss for what to eat for dinner. So I'm having a Chipotle chicken wrap. This is huge. Um, I normally don't eat the pita chips they give me, but I'm also having a bottle of water. So really I should only have like one half of these, but sometimes I can eat the whole thing because I can eat a lot right now. If we, if it gets to be that big of a downpour, we're not gonna have a plan B. It's going to be, it's not going to happen. There's not gonna, be, like if people aren't gonna drive downtown to the party, they're not gonna drive all the way out to our house. The party would just be over. Well, I don't know, but you still need to have plan B and you need to figure that out. I know that it's gonna be X amount of people until people call me and say they're not coming. So that could be last well, minute. So I can't do anything about Friday. that. What? Oh, they could decide that on Friday if they know it's coming. No, I don't think, I think that you're being a little wishful thinking here. It's, we, we can't control any of this. Are we still at 25 right yeah, now? Yeah, yes, and I bet you anything that they have like a, like an acts of God thing in the contract that says like if there's a storm or something that they can um, cancel your event. Charge us? No, not charge us, but cancel the event. Right. Well, I'm sure they do. I mean, if they can't be open, I'm sure that's exactly right. That makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. So, we may not be having a party at all, Eva. It's a good thing that you and Jace uh, are staying at our house because people may not be able to get anywhere. We, I just don't know. Nick is making it seem like it's going to be a huge storm, but, I mean, you really never know because last time Houston said we were going to have, like, I forgot what the last one was. That big hurricane when you were, whatever, that big storm when you were telling me to go get all that water, and it was like yeah. nothing. It, it barely, it didn't even thunder. Yeah, but this last one you had was a freaking flood. When yeah, flood it was, flood. but yeah, it was a flood, but we weren't even prepared for that one the way that we were prepared for the other storm that didn't even happen. So what I'm saying is that you just don't ever know. It could end up being a huge storm and everything could be off, or it could end up not being anything at all. So all I'm saying is that whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen and that's, I'm not gonna like put too much thought into it. No, and don't stress about it because it is what it is. I mean, unless the plane can't get there, we're gonna be there, so. <laughs> well, you never know. Well, you don't, but we're leaving tomorrow. We're not leaving on Saturday, you know? I know, it's, Chris uh, and Tom said. are coming on tomorrow too. Are they driving? No, they're flying from well, St. Louis. A lot. No, yeah, they're not a driving. Lot. They're not driving. Okay, well that's cool. Just got a phone call from the nutritionist to schedule my appointment. Why don't I just schedule an appointment with healthy foods? I really don't want to go to this at all. I'm at the grocery store and this is what I've got. Two zucchini two squash, my razor refills, strawberries, baby tomatoes, bananas, organic almonds, pineapple, basil, mozzarella cheese. Uh, nutritionist might not be okay with me eating a lot of cheese, but uh, sorry about it, I'm gonna continue eating cheese. I like cheese. Um, Ezekiel bread, which is just like a sprouted grain bread. Um, it's in like the freezer section of the grocery store. It's a lot better for you than just like a, a plain bread. And then organic apples, organic mangoes, um, boneless, skinless chicken breast, organic avocados, and that's it. One more thing, I got a little rose to go in my little single flower holder, and I got an iced coffee with some creamer, which this is, the nutritionist is gonna say get rid of the creamer and maybe get rid of the coffee, but huh, good luck. I decided to grab this unsweetened iced coffee. There's no sugar, it's just plain coffee um, to have at the house. I'm getting ready to film my pregnancy vlog right now, but I just spoke with a nutritionist on the phone because she had left me a voicemail because my doctors put in an order for me to see the nutritionist. 
So I had a voicemail for them to call back to schedule. So I call back and scheduled, and I'm gonna put the clip in right now of a little bit of the dialogue that we had. Um, I got a little bit excited and was cutting her off a little bit just because the whole thing makes me nervous, and you guys know I have anxiety over it, so I was just like, I should have just let her talk more because I wish that I wish that I would have let her say more because it was what she was saying, what she, the way she seemed to be swaying was really in favor of what I was saying and I wish I would have given her the floor a little bit more so that it would, you could hear more of that coming from her. But there are two little um, pieces that kind of proved to me that this whole time I have been right about this whole nutrition craziness situation. So I'm going to go ahead and play that clip for you right now and yeah. Mission staff member, press 1. If you were all other callers, press 2. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. All of our representatives scheduling this is Claudia. How can I help you? Hi Claudia, this is Erin um, Williams. I just had a voicemail from you to come call back to schedule an appointment. Okay, let me check one moment. Let me see. There's an order for... You to come in for a nutrition consultation, is that right? I think so, but I did want to um, check and see what, um, like how much that would cost in, to come in for that because I really only have a couple weeks left of my pregnancy, uh -huh. um, so I just don't know if it's something that, depending on what it's going to cost, I just don't know if it's something that I that I personally think is necessary right now. Yeah. Well, the thing is that usually we schedule the appointment and then they would call you back to give you information about the benefits. Um, the only thing is, though, that he is booked for like a month for nutrition. Oh, she is? See, okay, because my due date is coming up in six weeks, so I, I really don't think that it would benefit me to, to go in two weeks before my due date. Um, no, I, I, was, I was pretty small when I got pregnant with my daughter, and I was on a really strict fitness regimen, so when I got pregnant, I, I ended up gaining more weight than she had recommended that I gain, and so that's why she wanted me to come in, but I'm I'm that's fairly that's confident. That's 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly confident that it's just because I was um, fitness training before I got pregnant, and then yeah. I stopped once I got yeah. pregnant. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> I know. I can't tell you I know it makes no sense, but you know what I mean? No, I completely I completely agree with you. And since she's booked all the way out um, a month, um, I think I'll just go ahead and pass if that's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll put notes in here then. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Bye. So I'm not going to be going in for a nutrition appointment, but that's not to say that I'm going to stop trying to be healthier because you guys saw what I got at the grocery store. And whether or not I was going in to see a nutritionist, that is what I've been trying to eat lately. If you've been following me weekly and following me on Snapchat and just following me in general, you'll know that I've been trying to make healthier choices because throughout this pregnancy, I've pretty much eaten whatever I wanted and um, worked out few and far between. So I'm trying to be better. I'm too, I'm too uncomfortable now to really work out. Um, though what I do on a daily basis is um, very active as it is. I've stopped spinning because it's so uncomfortable. It squishes my belly and I can't really reach the handlebars and it's really painful and uncomfortable and it puts me in a really bad mood. If you watched last week's video, it doesn't make any sense for me to see a nutritionist two weeks before I'm due. In all honesty, she could already be born by then because I will already be full term at that point. So it just seems silly. So I probably have glitter all over my face because I just got done doing some work. It is 7.30 um, since I was on here last. I filmed my 33 weeks pregnant video, I took a couple promotional photos, and then I worked on about 15 Yetis. So I just, I literally just finished that and came downstairs to work on the detail section of my 33 weeks pregnant video. I'm going to edit um, the detail section and put all my info up. I have had a banana to eat in the meantime, but that's all I've had. 
I got food to cook for dinner tonight and like usual I'm so tired it's 8 20 and I'm exhausted I asked Nick if he wants to cook what I bought and he doesn't he said he wants to do laundry so hard you're folding my clothes too Wow no you don't Nick you fold my clothes maybe once a quarter yes I do no he doesn't no you don't honey what did you say you want do I have glitter all over my face yep all up underneath my nose mm, girl Every vlog day we do this. I just don't have energy to cook a meal. I just did a lot of freaking work today. Even though I went to the grocery store and got stuff specifically to cook a meal. Good thing I'm not going to the nutritionist anymore or else she would tell me that I should stop going out to eat so often. Maybe I need to be more prepared. Maybe I should- I'm not leaving this house until you figure out where you're going to eat. He's gonna have like a huge barbecue on Saturday. Okay. He wants us to go out Friday night though and stay the night, can't we? We have the animals, so no. Just for one night. We'll be fine. Would we be staying two nights? No, we'd come back on Saturday. I don't really. Do we have to stay the night? Yeah, he really wants us to. He's planning on it. I want to because I want to go horseback riding in the morning. It'll be fun. It'll be nice to get out in the country. The Gemstocks had babies too. Yeah. I haven't made my decision yet, so don't get your hopes up. I've made my decision for you. <laughs> you can go by yourself then. I made it on Monday. I. When I told him we would get up. <laughs> oh no. Maybe you want to go to Willie's and get a chili cheeseburger? Yeah. Can we instead? Yeah. Shh. Nick, I'm not supposed to be having chili cheeseburgers, and that's my favorite thing to get at Willie's. Why did I recommend that? Masala walk would have been so much healthier. From one extreme to the next. We've got a front row seat here, parking spot. outside. Yeah. Oh, I got one already. I haven't been drinking sodas lately, but I just really needed one. I saw the fountain right there. It was very easily accessible. We moved inside because we were getting bit by mosquitoes. This is a chili cheeseburger with a wheat bun, and I got sweet potato fries. It's still obviously awful, but hey, at least I got a wheat bun and sweet potato fries. Nick is getting baby back ribs with mac and cheese. Well, you're not getting your hair cut at TGF. Thanks, Carlo will fit me in tomorrow. <laughs> I told Carlo the story about how I told you that you should go to boardroom okay. and that you refused. Oh, the only time I left Carlo, I almost got my head cut off by an emo <laughs> psychopath. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've told you guys the story of this. Have I told the story of this on here? I don't story time. He doesn't like the fact that first of all, Therapy Hair Studio is far away from us. Second of all, it's a lot more expensive. One day, I guess he was having like a, he needed to get his hair done right away and he didn't, he thought that he could just walk into any old store and that they would cut his hair as well as Carla did. I needed to get my hair cut extremely fast and I didn't have time. A lot of times with that therapy studio place you gotta call a couple days ahead you can't just show up so <laughs> I did a walk-in and I just happened to have a lady who was having a dispute with the manager <laughs> about her um, 
I guess when they bonus them, they don't, or not when they bonus them, when they get tipped, they don't allow them to take their tips home until the end of the week, until Friday. And I think it was like Wednesday or something. Well, it had just switched over to that, right? They had just started enacting yes, they, that rule. the new manager had just implemented that. <laughs> and this is all coming from the lady cutting my hair. And she was obviously very, very upset about that. So upset that she told me she wanted to blow up the place. <laughs> and that she could just do terrible things to her boss while she's holding scissors and cutting my hair. So <laughs> She started crying. She was crying. <laughs> while she was cutting the hair. She was still cutting my hair. She did a pretty good job. Nick. The, considering the state she was in. Nick, I you did not have, think she did a good job. Don't lie. I was just, I just wanted to get out of there. And then she says, you know what, you're the last haircut I've ever, or that I'm going to ever have. I both walked up to the front and <laughs> she checked me out and I wrote her a really big tip because I was scared at that point. <laughs> and we both walked out the door and she quit and I got in my car and she went that way and I went that way. Your and haircut was out. nowhere near as good as the, how Carla does it and you know it. I, yes, that is true. I... Now I understand why people pay that kind of money for a haircut, because you're going to get a good quality haircut, and it's the same thing every time. And it's nobody, a nice environment, you can have a cappuccino. And nobody's threatening to blow the place up. <laughs> Everyone's happy with their job. Uh, my battery's about to die, so I'm going to let you guys go, but I'm about to take my makeup off, take my prenatals, and get in bed. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on Monday with a video about my shower, if it happens. <laughs> Bye, guys.